mainstream, flipping conventional thinking on its head. More from Gabriella Rogers. Under the microscope, you can see which sperm swim better than others. Often it's only when couples are trying to conceive that problems surface. The initial test that we would do is the semen analysis, which doesn't actually tell us a lot more besides the man has sperm. When there's not enough sperm, surgical retrieval is the only solution, but half of patients have the procedure unnecessarily. Often it, there's the uncertainty as to whether we are actually going to find anything. Researchers at the Hudson Institute and the University of Newcastle not only made a surprising discovery, it could help screen men for fertility. It does pave the way for a blood test. It's widely believed that sperm which forms at puberty are protected by a barrier in the testes so they're not attacked by the body's immune system. But detailed protein analysis using mice and human samples found that the tiny tubes which make and protect them release sperm proteins into surrounding fluid that can enter the circulation via the blood vessels. We can use this testis fluid and, and look at the proteins in it to monitor how well the testis is functioning and how sperm are being produced. About 10% of infertile men don't have enough sperm. A blood test would be a non-invasive way to screen patients before they undergo surgery. I'm very excited by the development and what this could mean for our patients. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News. The Australian share market lifted today while the local currency fell to a six-week low. Business reporter Chris Kohler. Global stocks were